Valentine's was fun. Yeah. How many of you guys had fun on Valentine's? Woo! Yeah. And, you know, I know all over the city they're probably doing messages today about Valentine's, but I'm not. <laughs> if, look, if it ain't broke, don't do anything about it. Amen? <laughs> there's, there's certain times in our life that we, we need God more than any other time. And I think you'll agree with me. There's probably been a time in your life that you were desperate for God, that you needed God. There was something... Uh, going on. Um, it could have been a health issue. It could have been relationship. It could have been a sin issue. Whatever it was, you needed God more than you ever needed anything. Watch the clip and then I'll be back. As I said before, there are times in our life that we just really need God more than, than anything else that our life could ever consume. And it's not foreign to any one individual in here. We all have those issues. We, we have all had uh, different times uh, of coming to that place. And I think the question that is asked is, why do these things happen to us? Because in most cases, we all love the Lord. In most cases, we all want to do right. Uh, we want to do what the Spirit tells us to do, but our flesh gets weak sometimes. If you have your Bibles, turn to 2 Corinthians chapter number 12. Uh, it said, it's doubtless not profitable for me uh, to boast. 
I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. He said, I know a man in Christ, I'm reading in verse number 2, who 14 years ago, rather in the body uh, I do not know, or rather out of the body I do not know, but God knows. Such a one was caught up into the third heaven. And, and verse 3, and I know such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows how he was caught up into paradise and heard inexpressible words, which, is not, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Verse 5, of such a one I will boast, yet of myself I will not boast except in my infirmities. For though I might desire to boast, I will not be a fool. For I will speak the truth, but I refrain lest anyone should think of me above what he sees me to be or hears from me. Now verse 7 is where we're going to take our text from. He's saying that I've had this unique giftedness of God to be caught up into this third heaven. And I have heard some words that you really cannot come back and tell. Paul wrote, uh, he writes about this and he's written several times about it. But in verse number 7, this is where we'll take our text and we'll get the title of our message. And it says, And lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations. He said there was a time that God had uniquely called me and allowed me to see and do some things that if I told you about them, you would think I'm boasting. He said, but it's not about that. And he said, I could speak on those things. And he says, he says that I was exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations. And then he says, a thorn in the flesh was given to me. It does not mean thorn as you think of a thorn or a splinter. You know what it literally means? It literally means a stake. A stake was given to me. But he said there was a stake given to me, and let me just say in this room, some of you have some stakes or thorns that are large. You say, well, that one's too big. Okay, but remember, he said, he said that there was a, a, a thorn in the flesh. His physical flesh, in his physical being, there is a stake that has been given to him. It's big. You say, well, that's too big. I don't have a thorn that big. Okay. Well, maybe you say, ah, now that's more like it. That's just a stake. That's just a small stake. Really? Not as big as that one. But would this still induce pain in your flesh, this stake? Absolutely. I mean, think about it. Ugh. We boys do this all the time. Ah. Ah. We die on the stage. And maybe it's not this big, maybe it's smaller than that. But no matter what size of stake that you have, it would render harm to your flesh. And he says this, he says, Unless I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelation, a thorn or a stake in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me. A messenger, and it comes from, the, again, the Greek word, the angelos. There's, there's a messenger of Satan that's constantly coming after me, and he is constantly taking this stake, and he's jabbing it in my flesh to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. Now remember, he had reason to be exalted because nowhere else do we find that someone has had the kind of visions that Paul has been given. Matter of fact, he later writes that I have not seen, ear hath not heard, the things that God has prepared for his people. We know that because he was caught up in that revelation, into that pa paradise of that third heaven. And he says this, he says, he said, a messenger of Satan above me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Verse 8, concerning this thing. Now that's where I wanted to, to take the title. This thing. I wish I'd have known what bothered the great apostle. Now understand, it's not a little bitty thing because Paul, uh, we know all the difficulty that he struggled with. We know all the, the, the beatings, the persecutions, the stoning. He never complained about any of that. So the thing that he is being buffeted with, this stake, has to be very large. It's not a little thorn. It's not some little irritating thing that's there. It's something that's causing him uh, to lose focus of what he's doing and to focus on this thing. And I believe the Holy Spirit never revealed or, or never told him to write what this thing was because this thing applies to you and me differently because we all have a thing. The thing that, that, that bothers Tony may not bother me. The thing that bothers Carlos may not bother me. The thing that bothers me may not bother Jim. And the thing that bothers Jim may not bother Joe. But we do all have something that 
that irritates us, something that holds us back or causes us to lose focus of where we need to focus. I want you to say with me this thing. Because whether you admit it or not, you have a thing.